So today we gathered here to launch the best TTL programmer that was ever made. So presenting to you our universal TTL programmer version 2. So this single programmer will help you to program almost all the microcontroller and development boards. When its first version was released back in 2022 and many of the makers and students loved this programmer. We also got a couple of feedbacks from our users and we heard all your feedbacks and responses to make our best ever programmer. So first, let's have a look over what changes we made as compared to the previous version. So the first major change that we did here is we introduced the type C port which was demanded by a lot of users. So finally, we have a programmer with a type C socket. Moving ahead, we changed the chipset as well. So in the previous version, we were using the CH340G chipset, while this time we are using the CH340C which has built-in oscillator so we don't need to attach the external one. Then in the previous version, to step down the voltage from 5 to 3.3 volt, we were using a couple of diodes in it, but this time we added a dedicated 3.3 voltage regulator for a proper and reliable voltage source. Then the next change is the small but a very useful change which is, so here in the new version, we shrink down the size of the toggle switch and added a power LED just near to it. So this will help you to make sure that your USB to TTL programmer is successfully powered on which was missing in the previous version. So those were a couple of uh, design based changes in this board but we do have a couple of added features in it and we'll be discussing those features very soon after this sponsorship ad. This video is sponsored by LTM and they came up with an amazing product called as LTM365. So LTM365 is an electronics product design platform that unites PCB design, MCAD, data management and teamwork. So with LTM365, you can do the PCB designing task. You can share your projects over web for review purposes. It do cover sharing your PCB file to mechanical team so that they can create the mechanical product package based on your PCB. Then it also provides centralized cloud storage so you don't need to rely on one single computer for your files. It also helps you with managing your components and get real-time supply chain data for your components. It also allows multiple people to work on single project and in the end, it also helps you with sending your design to final manufacturing units. So LTM 365 takes care of all other tasks so you put more time and effort in making something creative and useful. And the good part is you can try out its free version as well. I'll leave its free trial version link down in the description of this video so do check that out. And now let us start with this video. Now let's talk about the added features in a new version of TTL Programmer. So in the version 1, we were only able to insert the ESP32 CAM board and Arduino Pro Mini board directly on the programmer to program it, while for all other boards, we need to connect it with the external connecting wires, right? But in the version 2, along with the ESP32 CAM and Arduino Pro Mini, you can now also directly insert the ESP01 module on it and program it without attaching any wires at all. Not only that, you can also program ESP26612 e or 12F module directly and for that, we designed a new extension PCB for this a programmer. You can insert that module on the extension PCB insert that extension PCB on our programmer and directly program that ESP266 module without attaching any wires at all. Isn't that awesome? Well, we do have one more extension PCB for our all-time favorite ESP32 module. So here is that extension PCB which is designed in a quite unique manner using pogo pins. Well, if you're thinking why didn't we use the smaller pitch mail headers, well, then let me tell you, we tried using the smaller pitch mail headers, but we were not getting proper connectivity with our ESP32 module, hence we were not able to program that. And that's why we changed the design and landed up on this unique yet very reliable design. And in this, you can fix the ESP32 module on the top, insert this PCB inside our programmer and can program the ESP32 module straight away. So it's a truly universal programmer that will help you to program multiple of your microcontroller boards with least efforts. So now after knowing about all the features of our universal programmer version 2, let's move ahead and have a look over the making and working of this programmer. So for making this project, we modified the schematic of our previous programmer and here is the final schematic of version 2. So after finalizing everything, we designed a custom PCB for this project 
and we gave its order to JLCPCB. Now even you can try ordering your own custom PCBs from JLCPCB by following very simple steps. You just need to upload the Gerber file of your PCB project, select the number of PCBs and color masking. Now this time we selected the stencil as well as there are a lot of SMD components on it. After that, just place your order. And here, if you select the fastest shipping option, you may get the PCBs delivered at your doorstep within a week. So do try out JLCPCB for your PCBs or stencil related services. And not only that, JLCPCB also provide the 3D printing and SMT assembly services as well. I'll be leaving away all the links down in the description of this video, so do check them out. So after receiving the PCBs, now's the time to shoulder all the components on it. So this is the final look of our Universal TTL Programmer version 2. Now in my previous video which was about the Universal TTL Programmer version 1, I explained how ESP32CAM, Arduino Pro Mini and ESP32 module gets programmed and not only that, I also explained how we are automatically resetting the ESP32CAM board uh, at the time of uploading the code so that we don't need to press any uh, physical button on board so everything will be uploaded automatically. So I'll highly recommend to watch out that previous video to learn all the process about how the code get actually uploaded in a microcontroller board. So now let me show you the demo of uploading the code in different different boards using a version 2 programmer and in the end I'll also let you know about the extension PCB for ESP266. So now let's start the demo by uploading the code into the ESP32 CAM board. Okay, so I'll insert the ESP32 CAM into this uh, you know dedicated port made just for ESP32 CAM board, which can easily fit. And here make sure that the voltage uh, you know selection pin is set to 3.3 volt logic. After doing these two steps, you are good to go to upload the code. So here is the blink example code uh, up, uh, open in my Arduino IDE. I'll select the right board and port which is AI Thinker ESP32 CAM and the port will be uh, this one. In case the port is not showing inside your computer, uh, make sure you have installed the CH340 driver in your computer. I'll be leaving away the driver's link down in the description of this video. So download them, install them, restart your computer and the port will start showing up. So here the built-in LED is connected to GPIO 4. So I will be uploading the uh, LED blink example code. So that is straight away hit the upload button and wait for the code to get uploaded. Okay, so code started uploading without pressing any reset board button, nothing. It started uploading automatically and now as you can see, the LED on board started blinking at an interval of one second. How convenient it is, right? So this TTL programmer not only supports the direct programming of ESP32 CAM board, but also support all the pinouts. So, so these headers are nothing but the extended pins of ESP32 CAM board. So you can connect your sensors or relays or any uh, input output peripherals here and you can experiment that project or build a prototype using ESP32 CAM by just uh, using that universal TTL. And once it is finalized, you can go for designing your own custom PCB. So if you have this programmer, you will not require any kind of breadboard as well for ESP32 CAM board. Okay, so after successfully uploading the uh, code inside the ESP32 CAM, let us move on to another microcontroller which is Arduino Pro Mini and we do have a dedicated port for Arduino Pro Mini. So you need to just insert that board like this. Okay, so in my case, I'm using the Arduino Pro Mini of 3.3 volt logic. So I will set the voltage uh, selector pin to 3.3 volt only and I'll connect my USB cable. Now in the computer, I'll go to tools, then into board and here I'll select the board as Arduino Pro Pro Mini. Okay, and one thing uh, you need to select here is the voltage level and the crystal. So here I have the 3.3 volt 8 megahertz uh, version. So I'll select this and uh, com port is already selected now i'll change this pin to led built-in and i'll up hit the upload button so this code will you know blink the built-in led on arduino pro mini board and it's uploaded and as you can see the led on board started blinking at an interval of one second so it also uploaded without pressing any reset button at all not only that this board do have a dedicated port for esp01 as well so we just need to insert the esp01 here now 
uh what i have experienced uh, uh, with particularly esp 01s as some of the esp 01 didn't get program when the voltage selector pin is set to 3.3 volt logic even if the microcontroller is of 3.3 volt logic only so this is that particular esp 01 so for this i need to set the voltage selector to 5 volt logic and then only the code will get uploaded in your case it may not be the uh, same situation so first do try uploading the code using 3.3 volt uh, logic level if it doesn't upload set to 5 volt and it will start uploading okay so here what i'll do is i'll select the right board which is generic esp8266 after that i'll select the built in led as 1 because the led is attached to gpio 1 and after that i'll select the right com board which is hopefully selected already then we just need to press the upload button and let the programmer do all the task for you okay the code started uploading on board automatically and yeah the code is uploaded and as you can see the led on board started blinking at an interval of 1 second and we programmed it without attaching any single wires at all i remember like programming esp01 is also a hectic task because we need to attach 5 to 6 wires to upload the program on board but now insert it upload it ready to use So now it's the time to showcase how to program ESP8266 Twilly module using our programmer. Well, the connections of the ESP8266 Twilly board is more or less the same as that of other ESP modules, but there is only one single change which is in this ESP8266 Twilly module you need to connect the GPIO15 to ground with a 10k resistor to upload the code successfully in it other than that all the connections are same as other esp modules but you don't need to worry about you know attaching the external resistor and connecting wires to a programmer as we designed an extension pcb for esp8266 twelly and 12f modules in which you can directly place the module on the extension pcb insert that pcb under the esp01 programming slot and we also added a pull down resistor on the extension pcb so you don't need to worry about it So now let's program this module. So here I already inserted the ESP Twilly uh, module inside the extension PCB, and now I'll insert this PCB into the ESP01 slot because all pins are already mapped. And make sure the voltage selector is set to 3.3 volt logic level. After that, here I'll again upload the LED blink example code only after selecting the right board and COM port. So here the board is generic ESP266, so this will also work in all the ESP266 modules. The built-in LED on this module is attached to GPIO2, which is already selected, and the COM port is also selected. Let us hit the upload button. Done and let's wait for the code to get uploaded. Okay, so the code is uploaded and LED started blinking on board, which is nothing but the GPIO two of the ESP two six six module. And now what you can do is you can you know remove this extension PCB, okay, and then you can easily plug out this uh, ESP two LED module and use it in your project like shoulder it anywhere and this is how you can you know program multiple of this modules by just you know inserting an extension pcb and inserting the extension pcb in a universal ttl programmer version 2 so after node mcu it's time to test out esp3 module and its extension pcb okay so here is the extension pcb its design is quite unique a big shout out to kedar upadhyay for designing this amazing pcb so these are the pogo pins and you need to place the esp3 to here so let me show you how to place it so you just need to place is it in this manner make sure it is properly aligned it should not be tilted like this okay it should not be tilted it should be in a proper like straight manner and make sure all the legs are according to this you know uh, video only so first three legs then the last one and here the last one and the uh, two legs after the two pins okay so this is how it is connected it's easily removable as well and it get connected quite easily and with the help of the springs in the pogo pins all the pins get uh, you know properly connected with the esp02 module and yeah uh, here the pinouts are same as that of the esp01 so you can insert it inside the esp01 programming section of our universal ttl programmer make sure it is set to like the logic level is set to 3.3 volt and now you can uh, you know plug in the usb type c cable okay so now as here there is no built in led on esp32 what i'll do is i'll try to upload the wifi scan example code and let's see if it gets uploaded and if we are able to see the response on serial monitor or not okay so i'll uh, select the right board first of all which is esp32 dev module uh, com port is already selected and after that i will hit the upload button and let's just wait for the code to get uploaded Okay so the code started uploading without pressing any button at all for safer side we have provided the boot button on pcb so if your code doesn't upload uh, start uploading you can press and hold the boot button to you know start the uploading process 
Okay, so the code is uploaded. Let us open the serial monitor. And as you can see, it says setup done, scan start, and we are able to see the Wi Fi networks nearby this ESP32 board. So it's amazing right we can easily you know now unplug this module and use it in any of our pcb project and can program multiple of this esp2 modules using our universal ttl programmer version 2. So those were some of the boards programmed using our universal TTL programmer and that's not it. You can program any of the microcontroller board that you were previously programming using any other programmer with the help of our universal TTL programmer as it got a dedicated port that contains all the pins that a normal TTL programmer has. And that's why we say it's a truly universal programmer. Well, do click the like button if you really like this tool. And in case if you want to get one for yourself, well, we are selling this programmer through our website, whose link is down in the description of this video. Along with the programmer, we do also have the options for getting the extension PC for ESP12 module, as well as ESP32 module. So you can go for that in case if you want it. All the links you can find in the description of this video. Get one for yourself right now as the prices may increase later on. You never know. So yeah, do share your feedback regarding this program or all the good or bad thing that you feel about it. You can feel free to share your thoughts down in the comments of the video. And yeah, that being said, I am just ending this video here and now. Just wait for my next video. Until then, explore, learn, share with me, Techie SMS.